Scientists have declared Australia's oceans are in crisis. And the world's oceans are warming faster than previous scientific predictions. Marine life in crisis. Concerned most climate scientists are about the, the impacts that we're seeing. A record-breaking marine heat wave could be on the way. Slowing down global heating is the only way to save the Australian way of life. Without a healthy ocean, there is no healthy humanity. The era of global warming has ended. The era of global boiling has arrived. We're here on the amazing Great Barrier Reef because the oceans are right at the heart of the climate change story. Now, more than 90% of the excess heat that we've been trapping through greenhouse gas emissions is ending up in the ocean. It's the equivalent of setting off five Hiroshima atomic bombs a second, or it's enough energy to boil Sydney Harbour every eight minutes. Now that means that our ocean is changing rapidly before our eyes. It means that our ice sheets are melting. It means the ocean currents that distribute the heat and nutrients and moisture around the planet that we depend on, those are slowing. And it means that the critical ecosystems that we all depend on are changing and are being damaged. What we see listening to our ocean and climate scientists is that changes are happening very quickly, faster than a lot of models had projected. This is true here on the amazing Great Barrier Reef. In my career so far, what I've been noticing is progressive warming on the reef. It's happening at a rate faster than we were anticipating. We're getting more frequent and more severe heat waves in the marine environment. In my lab, we do controlled experiments where we try to understand what kinds of thresholds, what kinds of trigger points in terms of temperature are alarming, are making a lot more stress for these organisms here in the marine environment. We work with coral reef fishes, including the sharks and the rays. And we're trying to understand their limitations. So we might be losing species or losing populations due to thermal stress. So adapt, move, or die. My name is Dr. Dean Miller from Great Barrier Reef Legacy. And today we're out on our beautiful Great Barrier Reef. We're seeing multiple bleaching events on the Great Barrier Reef. We've had four mass coral bleaching events in just six years. That is four too many. If you're watching what's happening in the Northern Hemisphere, we're seeing 37 degree water in Florida. That is coral death here on the Great Barrier Reef if we experience that. The summer ahead, it's tipped to be not just a hot summer, but the hottest summer on record. And I think you should let that sink in. I'm worried it means for the Great Barrier Reef, potentially mass coral bleaching once again. And with an El Nino weather pattern, it could be coupled with mass coral mortality. But what this really means is that we are given multiple, multiple warnings and uh, a window of opportunity to start doing something very positive for our oceans instead of continually just watching and monitoring the slow degradation of these ecosystems. There really is that much at stake, but we have the solutions. The only good thing about climate change is we know what's causing it. We know what we have to do. With every coral bleaching event, what we're seeing is that the most vulnerable corals and reefs starting to disappear. And it's not just here in Australia, it is worldwide. What we want to do at the Forever Reef Project is actually get out there and preserve the biodiversity and making sure that we have a living backup of what exists on the Great Barrier Reef today so we have that for tomorrow. Uh, my name is Casey Barnes. I work at Wavelength Reef Cruises and I'm a senior marine biologist. The coral clip is the method that we use to outplan our corals. It is easily used in lots of other places, not just on the Great Bay Reef but worldwide, and can be very effective. Those outplants do survive quite well out here. We do couple that with the science to ensure that the outplants that we're using are the most optimal species in moving forward in a warming ocean. We see that Australia has this enormous untapped opportunity to play a big part in solutions. We've been a big part of the problem in the past. We're a major fossil fuel producer, but we're sitting on some of this unrivaled potential to really do a whole lot of good. And it really is just about getting ourselves out of fossil fuels, creating a bright, clean energy future. And it's so important that we do that right now. If the reef's gonna have a fighting chance, if we're all to have a bright and prosperous future, we really need to get on with the task and fast.